a very good morning to you students hope you are doing well and attending the youtube and zoom classes regularly some students submitted the homeworks on saturday the remaining students also complete the homeworks and submit it coming saturday okay students in the previous class we studied about tenses we studied three types of tenses that is present past and future also studied the four types of present tense and the simple present tense in detail we studied the simple present tense in detail today i want to continue now in the first class i taught you now that is the chapter 1 of your acts for new learners grammar and composition book i hope all of you buy the textbook today i want to continue our first chapter that is noun we are going to fill up the exercises today first i want to recall noun what is noun noun is a naming word noun is a naming word it is a word we used to, to name a person and other living beings objects places ideas and feelings in short noun is a naming word we studied about countable and uncountable nouns and also we studied the types of nouns what do you mean by countable nouns the nouns that we can count are known as countable nouns the nouns which we cannot count are known as uncountable nouns what are the six types of nouns proper noun common noun concrete noun abstract noun material noun and collective noun we also studied the six types of nouns in detail okay students let's practice the exercise page number 12 exercise 1 take your textbook page number 12 exercise 1 read the following passage and identify the nouns as proper material and collective nouns and complete the table appropriately you just read the passage and identify what are the proper nouns material nouns and collective nouns and write it in the table given below okay students listen the paragraph carefully the students of class 6 of st teresa's high school of chennai started a project 3 months ago their class teacher asked each of them to take care of two plants at home they planted tiny saplings in small steel pots which they filled with dry mud since plants need water to make their food using the sunlight each of the little gardeners also bought small tin cans to water their plants they put the plants outside during day so that the plants got enough sunlight after coming back from school they took the plants back into the shade to save the saplings from drying and excessive sunlight rias from section a and roni from section b led the project both kept a diary about the progress 
most students preferred flowers to vegetables or fruits many students planted marigolds some plant planted poppies and lilies though only one student planted roses bunches of buds began to appear in some plants there were only a group of five students in the entire class who decided to grow vegetables and fruits two students planted strawberries and are now expecting a small bushel from the two plants one grew chili peppers two students planted egg plants and now a pair of tiny egg plants has appeared everyone was very excited about this gardening project especially now that their plants are giving fruit dear students now we shall arrange the proper nouns san teresa chennai proper nouns always begins with capital letter begins with capital letter okay it may be a uh, particular that is particular place or person or monuments oceans name of the books etc okay rani riyas okay students the next material nouns see steel pot steel mud water tin okay can you identify the collective nouns class bunches group bushels pair okay let practice the next exercise listen my students page number 13 question number 2 read the following passage and underline the abstract nouns and circle the concrete nouns listen i have used red color for abstract noun and blue color for concrete noun okay mark it properly i want to read it once upon a time there was a king who loved all the animals he particularly liked elephants for elephants he built a huge stables and kept a caretaker for them the elephants were given special diet every day so that they remain healthy one day a hungry stray dog was looking for food while looking for food he entered one of the stables and saw leftover food inside feeling overjoyed he ate it all the elephant allowed the dog to eat the food soon they became friends the caretaker also didn't mind the dog being around one day a farmer saw the dog and bought the dog from the caretaker for a good price after the dog was gone the elephant felt very sad as he missed his friend soon he stopped eating and slowly became very weak the news reached the king soon and he began to meet his favorite elephant in the stable though the hat taker knew why the elephant was sad he didn't tell the king fearing his anger and punishment for what he did the royal doctor came and understood that the elephant was sad for some reason while looking for the source of its sadness the king came to know about the love between the dog and the elephant the king announced 
a very good reward for the person who could find the dog hearing the royal announcement the farmer came to the king and said that the caretaker sold him the dog the caretaker was called he was asked to return the farmer's money the elephant became very happy to get its friend back okay students until then the abstract nouns and circle the concrete nouns okay otherwise use double color pen okay here i used abstract noun for red color and blue color for concrete noun okay the next exercise same page exercise b now write down 10 more abstract nouns here right 10 more abstract nouns can you write happiness jealously intelligence cowardice hatred poverty joy bravery silliness hope okay the next formation of abstract nouns listen me students abstract nouns can also be made from other words such as adjectives common nouns and verbs we can change the adjectives common nouns and verbs to abstract nouns okay you can make new abstract nouns by adding suffixes to adjectives common nouns and verbs by using suffixes by using the proper suffixes we can change it to change the um, nouns adjectives and uh, verbs to abstract nouns okay listen we can add the suffixes ness n e s s d o m y to the adjective and change it to abstract nouns okay happy plus ness happiness king plus dumb king tum okay some different words are also have long length humble humility abstract noun can formed from verbs and other nouns also friend plus ship friendship friend noun okay act verb act plus ion action okay yes come to the next exercise page number 14 leg practice provide abstract nouns for the following adjectives wise wisdom courageous courage brave bravery strong strength sad sadness proud pride intelligent intelligence difficult difficulty wide width glorious glory okay the next exercise is page number 15 change the common nouns to abstract nouns by adding shib by adding the prefix shib hodd or dom leader leadership knight knighthood king kingdom scholar scholarship parent parenthood member membership sister sisterhood partner partnership okay the next change the verbs to abstract nouns change the verbs changing or making abstract nouns from verb act plus ion plus the suffix ion accept a n c acceptance behave i o u r behavior judge meant judgment invite action remove a l okay 
some unusual words also have died death loss loss z z sell sale speak speech okay the next exercise some action words are given below change them into abstract nouns page number 16 exercise 1 see sight attract attraction discuss discussion argue argument agree agreement locate location prevent prevention injure injury console consolation assist assistance attach attachment approve approval okay the next change the following words into abstract nouns wise wisdom pride proud proud pride courageous courage intelligent intelligence famous fame neighbor neighborhood no knowledge king kingdom glorious glory okay read the passage given below fill in the blanks with the abstract nouns you have made from the words given in the previous exercise one has been done for you listen me read the passage given below fill in the blanks with the abstract nouns you have made from the words given in the previous exercise from the exercise 2 you shall take words and put in proper place okay once upon a time there lived four friends a grasshopper an ant a cricket and a rainbow in a far away kingdom one day after a long talk they decided to go to war to achieve instant fame they did not have any experience of their being on a battlefield still they wanted to go to war they thought that if they won a war it would bring them glory immediately they would become the pride of their kingdom all the friends had courage but no intelligence wisdom though they did not have any knowledge about war they decided to go for it finally all of them had to come back badly wounded even before they reached the battlefield okay students i hope you have understood the topic thoroughly and did the exercises properly if you have any doubt you shall watch the youtube once again and fill it okay students attend the zoom class i will send you homework through whatsapp you shall complete it and send it on saturdays okay students okay have a nice day